these people. Oh, that's great. Cause because look, obviously yeah. you guys were doing a lot of the heavy lifting within the union, within the warehouse. Uh you were key members, you were part of an executive an executive board team. And things seem to be going pretty well for a while, it sounds like from everyone's and, and I received you guys sent over some some statements about about what had happened and, I, and rather than just show those I would rather let let you kind of talk about them. But this way I got a little bit of of preparation as to to what what what's happening here um everyone seemed to be kind of on the same page but at some point and this is where i want to kind of start what where did it start to in in all of your opinions kind of diverge and go off of the mission of 100 percent supporting amazon labor union workers at jfk8 by the executive membership team by chris by anyone else that you guys wanted to talk about. Um, I know Chermo put quite a bit of uh, things in his letter as did Ron. So I'd love to kind of go in reverse this time and hear, and hear what each of you guys, uh, what each of you folks really has to say about that. Um, because I think, I think that's kind of the crux is, is where did it start? And then we'll get to a couple of the incidents that, that have happened over, over the years, uh, over, over the last year, a couple of months. Uh, leading up to what happened in October, I think we can talk about that. Just just to kind of set you folks up, we really didn't get a chance to talk. Um, and then and then we can get even to what happened this past weekend and and where we want to see it go from there. So so I'm going to give you all the time you want. The floor is all yours tonight, uh, and we can do this again, you know, and and schedule another time if we don't get to it all tonight. So. Um, Chermo, uh, again, the floor is yours. I thank you for joining us and, and for sharing all this with us. And, and we're, again, excited to hear what you, what you all folks all have to say. So, so thank you. Yes, yes. And I am, um, I'm welcome to be, um, part of the program. So like for me, like with, where, where everything started to like, um, deteriorate was, um, I want to say <clears throat> it, it's, it's when I first came in, it was like, it, it was just, it, it was it was a huge disappointment when I first came in because that you you want you want you know the saying where they say um don't believe in the hype, so I, I believe in the hype. You know my professor, I I spoken to my professor. He was the one that 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 actually like told me to like to try to get involved with the union and everything. So I decided I'm gonna get involved with the union. I came down to the union hall. Um, I was expecting like some revolutionary stuff, and, like groundbreaking, like it's like Black Panther esque type movement going on so i didn't i didn't get that so it was just from the beginning i i was seeing like um for example right one of the first thing i seen when i first got to the union hall was um Derek palmer getting in the face of brima right so he was like, like yelling at brima I, I i don't really remember what it was but Derek palmer was, was like yelling at brima or something like that he was all up in his face and um, because brima was acting about the the financial reports and all this and that so it was just just seeing stuff like that and it was like what is going on here so so from 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 that moment then i'll uh, fast forward to when um michelle when when when, when they um removed michelle from the office so from from yeah from that everything has started fracturing just, just, just from that point that's when i i started having disagreements with them uh, ronald started having disagreements with them other union members started having disagreement. Well, I don't know about Ronald and the other union members, but they, they they definitely had disagreement with them. Then for me, that's when I really started having disagreements with them. Because I was like, I don't agree with the leadership, how you guys are moving. It's like the leadership is not, it's not bold, it's not strong. There's no, it's like, how do you guys expect to get a contract from a company, a corporation like Amazon, a trillion dollar corporation like Amazon? When you, your leadership is not even that strong, it's, you got weak leadership. So it's it was just all of that coupling all of that for me. That's when I was like I, I can't, I just can't because it it just is not feasible. It's like we're wasting our time. It's like why why is it that we have a union but you guys refuse to be strong enough to get a a, a um a contract from Amazon and 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 Amazon is, is a trillion dollar corporation. They just waiting for us to fill. They they got the resources to to wait it out they they, they could they could they could fire war of attrition so come on we got to get moving so yeah, yeah that, that's when i realized everything was falling apart <laughs> yeah i concur yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, but um, when I noticed things were bad is when I, you know, when the car, when we were all together, you know, I noticed a lot of us, we had uh, so many great minds that entered this organization and we kept seeing a revolving door of people coming in and out, in and out because of the same problem. They had a problem with the leadership. They had a problem, most importantly, with Chris and his lack of leadership. He's always leaving the country, leaving and abandoning the union. So we have no commander and quote unquote chief to help us articulate a plan so we can run the plays effectively to help the people in the building because that should be the main priority and it's not. You know what I'm saying? So the infighting started the problem. You know, I came in there, they was going back and forth like Brother Chermo said, they were talking, Brina was talking about the financial records, transparency, operating in a democratic fashion and that has not happened at all. It's been a lot of favoritism. It's been a lot of backbiting. So many things you can't even imagine, you know, that took place in this union that caused people to lose trust and decide to break away, you know, and that's what happened. You know, I would try to reach out to Chris Moss many times in private. You know, sometimes he'll block me, sometimes he won't block me because he don't want to hear some of the things I'm saying. And I will not say these things to him to try to discourage him. In fact, I sent message to try to encourage him and everybody, even when we had chats, right? I was that person that tried to lift the spirit of everybody. Always positive to the best of my ability. But when things go wrong, I can't sit back and not say anything. Because if I see people doing wrong or things are wrong, I'm part of the problem if I don't speak up. And that's what led me to come today. You know, I respect the chain of command. But what happens when the chain of command don't respect you? You know what I'm saying? Now... I'm in a position where uh, my voice is being silenced, just like many others, because we have an opinion, you know, on some things that's made on our behalf. And we have the right to speak on such things. But back before I digress, what caused the fallout was all of the negative infighting. People jockeying for, excuse me, people jockeying for position and power and fame and money. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that led to the infighting and the demise and what you currently see happening now. It is so atrocious to what's going on right now. And when all the infighting took place, the caucus, they broke away and formed the caucus. And then a lot of time was wasted by them taking, you know, the union to federal court, you know, going all this back and forth, fighting and finger pointing and things like that. And the people that lose out are the workers. The workers have been losing out this whole time while they're going back and forth, neglecting, the most important thing that we're supposed to be fighting for, the people in that building and the contract. So I'm watching all of these things going on. I'm trying to play peacemaker when the caucus broke away. I'm trying to actually talk to them and talk to Chris and the rest of the people to work this thing out. Nobody wanted to bend. Egos. You know what I'm saying? All these other personal things. Accusing back and forth. And when I'm trying to do that, I'm accused of being an ah. All because I'm trying to be diplomatic and trying to get everybody to work back together. Now, they're forced to work together because of federal court. And even that is not good. It's no real unity happening now. It's still the same thing. Everybody with their different agendas, no transparency. And now, they're doing all these tactics where if you don't agree with them, they try to do these bullying tactics, particularly President Christian Smalls. He liked to throw his rocks and hide his hand, right? He sent other people to do his dirty work for him. You know, like he tried to do Brother Chermo, um, our Vice President Michelle. He tried to do me. He tried to do other people like that. And he uses other people to do that. And he don't have any accountability. And that's another thing. A lot of the current leadership, particularly the president, takes no accountability for any wrong that he does. You know what I'm saying? All his other henchmen and henchwomen that rolls with him. And that's why we're in a position now. It is, it's, it's so bad. When I go in the building, because I, I'm still employed, I go in the building and I have to feel questions from people that I don't have the answers to because now we're locked out. Many of us are locked out of the meetings. We are not informed on updates or nothing like that because we have a disagreement. And that's not cool, especially when we are union paying, dues paying members. We have a voice. It's like representation without representation. Well, you know, that's what I was seeing was that, that your voice on 
within the union that you pay dues to and that you voted to 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 approve all of a sudden yes. disappeared where you were having an impact you were actually contributing outside of work okay this was not yes. during your amazon employee time correct you were all it, was it volunteer or was it was it paid work outside for the union no we paid volunteer. Dues voluntarily. We right. voluntarily. Yes. so you wanted we this so bad that. right right so you wanted this so badly that you volunteered your time you volunteered you were on committees and on this executive committee you were reaching yes. out to as like kind of a captain and somebody within the organization and within the building to try to 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 enforce to keep the other union members and all the other workers informed. And yes. yeah, it's it's really frustrating when you can't get an answer out out of out of corporate management. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, uh, no, but fine. it's fine. That